no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending this is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. The academic journal Perspectives on Politics published the first ever scientific study of whether our country is a democracy or an oligarchy, meaning ruled by a small class of elites, government by a few. And although it's not in the Webster's Dictionary, I'd say it's government by a few douche monkeys. But Webster's is never up on the modern language. Did you know they still don't have the expression bucket of tater twats? I had to go elsewhere to find that definition. Not there. I check every day. Anyway, the study used a unique data set that includes measures of the key variables of 1,779 policy issues. A massive undertaking. I didn't even know there were that many policy issues. If I were asked to name all the policy issues, I could, let's see, you got abortion, immigration, whether it's okay to pay a, a cheap hooker, with ice cream, whether fat people have to buy two tickets on an airplane, whether an unborn child can own a firearm. That, that's it, I think. But luckily, academics are smarter than me, and they studied 1,779 policy issues, taking variables into account and found that the U.S. system of government is, drumroll please, oligarchy. The U.S. is an oligarchy. Tell the contestants what they've won, Bob. They've won little to no say in the policy decisions of their country. They've also won a media that relays the message of the elites despite the reality for most Americans. That media will largely be staffed and run by other elites who have little to no connection to the common man. Policy choices such as massive trade deals or pipelines cutting across the country will be conceived, fleshed out, promoted, and voted on by a small group of oligarchs. The people have also won a history book, which is where they'll have to go if they want to learn about what real democracy looked like. But we're not done. They also won a new car, which is where they'll be living after their foreclosure. And in the new car, they can cook their meals on their new George Foreman grill. Watch the fat just drip off. If it makes you feel any better, you can call it oligarchy with a hint of democracy, but really that's like being on fire with a hint of water. Kind of still on fire. This is a study that every American should know about. Every man, woman, and child should know that the democratic republic we claim to be proud of has been wrested away from us and put in the hands of a few hundred rich, white, male motherfuckers. And fine, if you want to split hairs about it, there's three women and two black guy motherfuckers who've been added just to spice things up a little. The study said the preferences of your average American have only a minuscule, near zero, statistically non-significant impact upon public policy. This is an academic study that you won't hear about on the corporate media. All right, the diagnosis is finally in. Our system has cancer. Are we gonna try and fight it or just lay back and pretend the doctor was wrong? Pretend that this doesn't matter. We can change this. We have the power. And now we also have a George Foreman grill. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. My new comedy special, We Are Nothing, comes out very soon. Keep checking LeeCamp.net for the details. Keep fighting. Part-time job at minimum wage. I feel like I'm an economic slave. But baby, I'm moving on.